Now, why did you become a recording artist? Man, um, I, became a, I became a recording artist because I, I really always wanted to. And it's like the one thing that, I guess, bro, I mean, when you do what you love, you don't ever have to, like, work. I know that's, like, like one of those old cliches, you know? But um, I think that's true. And that's, like, this is, like, the one thing that I can, you know, work at and not ever feel like I'm working. So it, it just makes sense for me, bro. What genre of music do you consider yourself at this point? Uh, rap, hip hop. And how did you get into that genre of music specifically? Man, it's kind of just always been around me. Um, growing up, you know, listening to what my cousin, I remember my cousin used to stay at my crib, um, and he used to like iron his clothes. That's not, it's what a time people used to iron jeans, bro. He used to like iron jeans and listen to like graduation and like dip set and it's just yeah just those those memories i think right there is when uh it's when i really fell in love with like hip-hop and rap and this cousin was on your mother or father's side of the family uh mother's side was this the first genre of music you ever encountered in your life um yeah i would say it was now how did you learn how to rap what was that learning process like for you and i wouldn't i don't know i can't really say i'd remember when I learned how to rap or how I learned or if I learned. It's kind of just always been there. I feel like it's gotten better and more refined with time as I've gotten, you know, more comfortable and known more about myself um, and grown. But, like, I can't really point to a time when I learned how to rap, you know. Based on this description, would you say you were self-taught or did anyone teach you? I think I was self-taught, but um, obviously I'm influenced by, you know, the artists that I had growing up. So, um... Yeah, but I'd, I'd say I was self-taught. And speaking of your cousin that was listening to Kanye West and Dipset, for transparency, have you met any of these people yet? <laughs> no, nah, I have not. Not yet. Not yet. And even though you were self-taught, based on the description, presumably, uh, on the rapping side of things, did you ever take music classes in school of any sort? Um, I took drum lessons. Um, I wasn't through school. I took drum lessons um, in second grade, and I took that all the way up until, like, maybe, I want to say sixth grade. Um, and then I really started focusing on basketball and, like, sports or whatever. But um, I also took, we had to take, like, an arts class, two arts classes in college, and I took piano lessons um, just because I always thought piano would be cool to learn, too. So, yeah. And just for references, even though you've mentioned this previously, during the interview, just in case viewers haven't had a chance to see those portions of the interview, what elementary school did you attend, middle school and college? Uh, my elementary school was A.J. Lindemann in Erlanger, Kentucky, and my middle school was Tishner Middle School in Erlanger, Kentucky. College was Thomas More University. Now, when it came to the drum lessons, was that something you wanted on... Is that, was that something you wanted to do on your own, or was that a suggestion from parents or yeah. something of that nature? Um, so, like, Nick Cannon dropped this movie called Drumline, and I was, I was, like, obsessed with just, like, recreating scenes from that movie. And I would, like, beat on, like, pots and pans and, like, on the table with pencils and stuff like that. And my mom was like, yo, I can, I, we can get you drum lessons because she, she played clarinet growing up, so she always loved music and wanted us to be involved in music. So she was... When she had the opportunity to throw me into it, she was like, oh, yeah, I'm going to take it. And uh, she got me into drum lessons, and I loved it. Um, I honestly, I wanted to continue playing it, but she had me get into band in middle school, and it kind of ruined it for me. So, yeah. What do you mean? Explain. <laughs> it just wasn't the kind of music I wanted to be uh, involved in, you know what I mean? Um, I was, I've always been a fan of, like, the drum set. So when you get into, like, band and just playing, like, a piece of the drum wasn't not wasn't wasn't my wasn't my thing. Now, when it came to that movie Drumline, what was it about Drumline that drew you to this or attracted you to this? Man, I think it was just the drums in general. There's I don't know. There's something about them. Um, just the amount of like rhythm and like swag and cadence you get. You know what I mean? It's yeah. It's I don't know. I can't really describe it. Uh, also, when it came to piano lessons, something you wanted to do on your own or someone suggested maybe no, put a battery uh, behind your back? I wanted to do that on my own. Um, I feel like, you know, 
the more you know, the better. So I wanted to try my hand at everything, try and get involved as much as I can. And, um, I mean, it was cool. I probably forgot more than I ever actually, you know, like knew. But, yeah, it was cool. What drew you to the piano? Because in terms of drums, that might be the opposite end of the yeah, spectrum of instruments is. there. I, I think that was the reason, to be honest, because, you know, in, in drums you have a lot of, like, you know, beats and quarter notes, eighth notes and all that stuff, but you don't have any, like, um, like melodies or I don't have to worry about, you know, what note I'm hitting. Um, so, like, you know, learning piano and learning the different, like, you know, notes in the music staff and being able to, you know, make those kind of melodies and harmonies and stuff like that was, was pretty dope. It was, a, it was a good, you know, switch up between you know, making the rhythm versus making the melody. I keep saying, you know, but yeah. <laughs> now, what grades or what years did piano lessons take place? I don't think you stated that. Yeah, I think that was my freshman and sophomore year. So that was during college. Yeah, so, but, yeah, freshman and sophomore but year. But those weren't college classes, per se. No, it was a college class. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, it was like an arts. It was like a, it counted as an art credit. Oh. We, we had to take two of those. So. Oh, okay, got it. Yeah. Uh, those were tied in. I didn't know that. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, electives as well? Yeah. Okay. Now, any regret or right decision looking back not pursuing the drums further or the piano further? Man, I wouldn't say I have any regret. Do I still want to learn how to play the piano? Yes. Um, I definitely do want to know how to do that just, just for my sake. I think that would be dope. Um, but I don't really have any regret with them because, you know, I feel like I got everything that I was supposed to get out of them, and it stopped when it was supposed to. So, yeah. Did either the drums or the piano help you with being a recording artist at all? I think the drums definitely did. Um, I think the drums, you know, taught me tempo, taught me cadence, um, taught me how to, like, fit little pockets and fit things in uh, to, like, you know, the song that you wouldn't hear, polyrhythms, things like that, that you, you wouldn't expect to listen to or try to implement uh, without, you know, I guess the prior knowledge of it. Could you have gotten to where you're at musically at this point without the drums or without the piano lessons? No. Nah. Everything that's happened in my life, you know, has created me and crafted me into the person that I am. So I feel like everything has its place and everything has its reason. I, could, I don't think I'd be anything without any of the stuff that's happened to me.